Gentle, faithful, swift, passionate, blind, and wondrous. All these are faces of love. In a moment, young Kate Wakefield, venturing into today's world of confusing freedoms, brought to you by Natural Wear Miss Clairol, to know you're the best you can be. What are you doing? Oh, June, come here, look at this. Still studying that old house in Jamaica. You know, the more I look at that picture, the more intrigued I get. I've got a map here of the area, and I think I figured out just where Glory Hall must be. I, I can't believe I'll be there tomorrow. So it's all set with Mr. Ross. Yes, but it wasn't easy. I didn't think it would be. Do you know how long that old house in Jamaica has been listed for sale? No. Three years. But when anybody shows any interest in buying, they just clam up and won't see them. Well, I think maybe I can. You see, I'm, uh, I'm not going down there as a stranger. I know Glory Point. I sailed past it with my husband so many times. Did you ever go to the big house? No, I never even knew there was a house. Uh, you can't see it from the sea. That's why I've been studying this map. It must be back some distance from the point. It says in the description that there's heavy foliage around it. And it's 300 years old. Some of those walls are three feet thick. Sounds spooky to me. <laughs> How long ago were you down there in Jamaica, Kate? Well, my husband's been dead three years, June. Before that, we were down there a lot. Tom loved to sail. It must have been beautiful. Oh, I thought at the time it was. But I know better now. Oh? Yeah, I guess you don't begin to grow up until you know the truth and can face it. Look, I'm not trying to pretend anything. I'm not going down to Jamaica just to sell a house for Mr. Ross. I'm going down because I have to. But if I can clear up the questions about this list... Honey, you don't need to explain to me. I want to, June. Look, my husband died under a cloud. There was a whole chapter of his life I knew nothing about. It happened down there in Jamaica. Maybe near Glory Point. That's why I... Kate Wakefield. Oh, yes, Margie. Of course. Sure, right away. Thank you. Mr. Ross wants to see me, June. Uh-oh. Does he change his mind about things? He doesn't like to, Kate, unless he has a good reason. Come in, come in, Kate. I hope you're not going to be disappointed. Disappointed? Yeah, I just got a call from Ralph Hadley, the real estate agent in Kingston, who's handling the Pomeroy place. Yes. Well, he told us Pomeroy we had somebody coming down and it's no dice. Well, what does that mean, no dice? Well, I told you, Louis Pomeroy is difficult. He says they're not selling and he doesn't want anybody snooping around. Snooping? Yeah, that's the way he talks. Well, what about Miss Ellen Pomeroy? Oh, the old lady, it doesn't matter. He does the talking. He never lets her get near a phone. Acts as if a marble's rattle. Oh, but he's done this before, hasn't he? Yeah, but it seems final this time. He told Harley to remove the listing. He doesn't want to hear from us again. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, I... Just can't give you that nice little trip. Mr. Ross, I never wanted you to give me a nice little trip. But it would have been worth it just to get that on-again, off-again business squared away. Mr. Ross, well, I, I wouldn't be going down just for you. Will you give me a week's leave of absence without pay? Why, sure, but... Uh... I, I must go to Jamaica. I have plane reservations for tomorrow. Okay. And I must go to Glory Point. I, I hope you have no objections if I call on Miss Ellen Pomeroy on a, a personal matter. Uh, what's this all about, Kate? Well, it has to do with my late husband. Oh, I see. Hey, do you, do you know the Pomeroys? No, no, I never met them, but I do know a relative of theirs here in the city. Well, you... Yeah. Just maybe you could get inside, Lewis, find out how he thinks. And in that case, I'd be glad to pay some of your trip. I'm not asking you to pay for anything. I, I'll just do what I can, Mr. Ross. Well, you, you got a place to stay near there? I'll find one. Okay, I'll call Hadley back. No, no, please don't. But I want him to know you're coming. Well, it wouldn't do any good now, and uh, it might spoil everything. Now, look, Kate, 
Will you take my advice this time? There's something uh, a little flaky about that Pomeroy outfit, and I think you'd better stay away from him. Mr. Ross, thank you. But this is a personal matter now. So I just have to decide when I get there. Look, please don't call Mr. Hadley back about me. Kate. Yes? Uh, have a nice time. Thank you, Mr. Ross. And thank you for the leave. Hey, Margie. Get me Ralph Hadley in Kingston, huh? Yeah, Kingston, Jamaica. And while I'm waiting, will you bring me a seltzer? I promise us a lovely Jamaican sunset. Miss Ellen? Oh, oh, yes. I'm sorry, were you napping? Oh, you know, I never nap during the day, Esmond. There's a call for Mr. Lewis, but I can't find him. Well, he's gone up to the warehouse. I'll take it. You will? Certainly. And, Esmond, will you fetch my walking cane, please? I, I want to go out to the point. Yes, Miss Ellen. Miss Pomeroy. Oh, yes. How do you do, Mr. Hadley? How nice to hear from you. Now, maybe I can hear. Oh, well, I'll, I'll be glad to take the message. Mr. Ross called me. Oh, no, I know nothing about it, but I'd be very glad to meet anyone from the Ross Agency. What did you say? Oh, I see. Aunt Ellen. Oh, oh, here's Lewis now. It's it's Mr. Hadley. I'll take it. Yes, Hadley, what is it? What? Against my orders? Go on, I'm listening. Is that all? I'll take care of it myself. Well, what are you standing there for, Aunt Ellen? I want to know what Hadley said. That's hardly your affair, my dear aunt. Everything that has to do with this house is my affair. Isn't it time for your walk down to the point to see the sunset? Presently. Hadley said we are to have a visitor. You misunderstood, Aunt Ellen. I asked you not to take my telephone call. Well, then, then you'd better stay home and take them all yourself. Hey, Aunt Ellen, let's not have one of our little scenes. I dislike them, Lewis, as much as you do. Then leave business matters to me. I should be glad to. When we have sold this place and can go our separate ways. Oh, what did Mr. Hadley have to say? He delivered my message to the Ross Agency in the States. What message? That we have decided finally that Glory Hall is not for sale. Why do you do this to me, Lewis? Because someone must take care of your affairs for you. I'm not in my dotage. Glory Point was mine long before you came here to ruin it. Now all I want is to get rid of it and... All it stands for. And the day the deed was signed, you'd cry your eyes out. No, my dear aunt, Gloria Hall will not be sold. Now, take your walk. You always fret if you miss the sunset. When is she arriving, Lewis? When is who arriving? The person Mr. Hadley said was coming. There is no person coming here. You misunderstood. I shall have to call Mr. Hadley back. I've told Hadley we won't bother him again. Then I shall wait until she gets... Ellen, no one is coming. Perhaps. Esmond? Oh, there you are, child. Did you bring my cane? Thank you. And I shall want the candelabra polished. Now I shall take my walk out to Glory Point. I'll call Hannah. No, Lewis. I wish to be alone. I did not misunderstand. She is coming. Mrs. Wakefield, Tom's wife. Oh, I've waited so long. And yet, I, I'm afraid. Hi, I'm Sandy Wright. In 1966, I was in a Miss Clear All commercial. Then it was, does she or doesn't she? Today, she still does. I love my hair. After nine years, yes, 
nine years of using Miss Clairol Cream Formula, it's in great condition. Terrific body, easy to manage, and if I have any gray, who knows? Miss Clairol Cream Formula. It's the hair color professionals use. The best it can be at any price. Look for Miss Clairol to know you're the best you can be. If you take Tylenol instead of aspirin for headache, now you can get the exact same relief with Datril and get a dollar refund besides. Buy Datril in the one. A 250 tablet size, and Bristol Myers will refund you one dollar. Send name, address, and Datril carton to Datril, Box 836, Farmingdale, New York 11735, and get a dollar back. Offer good on one bottle only. Expires April 30th, 1976. So try Datril now and get a dollar back. Faces of Love been brought to you by Datril, the new non-aspirin pain reliever from Bristol Myers. This program comes to you from the Radio Playhouse.